Hello, everyone. Welcome to Reviving Lives Church, Breaking the Fast with Belvis. And we are here to break the fast because we have rested throughout the night, or maybe we just haven't gotten into the Word of God today. So we're going to break that fast by reading God's Word. And today's scripture is found in Romans 3 and 10. And it reads, There is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned away and they all have all together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. And I read that as a quote, and that's stopping at verse 12. I read that as a quote, um, um to answering the question what shall we conclude then do we have any advantage uh not at all for we have already made the charge that jews and gentiles uh alike are all under the power of sin and here it just goes back to um uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 20, which says that there is no one uh, righteous, uh, that all have sinned. And so we all fall under under the power of sin. And I know that a lot of times people think that uh, as Christians, that we um, are perfect and that we have no sin and that they hold us to this higher standard, which is, is it's okay um, to do that because we should be led and guided by the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. But the Bible lets us know that no one is righteous. No one is sinless. Only one person that uh, uh, has walked this earth that it was sinless, and that is the, the Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. And so uh, everyone else, we've all fall under the power of sin because of Adam sinning in the very beginning that's a whole other teachable lesson um but I just want to remind you that that there is no one righteous not even one so if you are looking at someone and and thinking that they're supposed to live this perfect, sinless life, then uh, you are mistaken because we are all under uh, uh, um, the power of sin if we, uh, especially if we haven't even yielded to the power of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. But when we become uh, children of God, we become, we become the righteousness of of Christ. And I know that's probably what a lot of people when that where that standard comes into play. Um, but we know that even if when we have been covered by the blood and saved by uh, Jesus, then uh, there are times that we do make mistakes and there are times that there will be sin in our lives. And people need to understand that um, we're not. No one is asking um, you to be perfect. No one is asking you to be sinless. And people think that they have to get themselves together before they come to Christ. Christ is the one that moves on the inside and he does the, the changing work through the power of the Holy Spirit and when we yield ourselves to him. And so it's not a work of our own. It is the work of God in us that allows us to live a life that is righteous. Uh, but again, not sinless but righteous. Praise God. Um, I know that's heavy. That's really heavy. Uh, and that's coming from Romans chapter three. When I've read verses 10 through, um, I think I went to through 12. Yes. 10 through 12. So if you get a chance, go back, read the word. And I know this is, this is, kind of heavy hitter. So, uh, but we have broken our fast. We have read and just kind of thought about the word of God today. So now we can go for it in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So <laughs> thank you for joining me to break the fast today. Uh, remember you are loved by God. Be blessed and I will see you on the next episode.